Okay, so when you are here, okay, uh, the first thing that you need to be doing, make sure that you have Java selected, and then Java application. Okay, this is the first thing that you need to be doing. Make sure that you click on Java and then Java application, and then you click on Next. The second thing is that you need to give it a name. And what is that name? Actually, this is the name that you're going to see in, let me go back to the code that we're going to, we were looking at. You see this code? You know this is my first program over here? The oh, sorry. The screen, I always forget. But on your screens it shows. Oh, no, it doesn't because I freed you. OK, so uh, yes, so. This is the name that uh, usually I'm, I'm using. My first program, this is what I'm using here. So again, in the back I click on Java, Java application, next, and then here I give it a name. Very important, very important. Never put a space in the name. Never put a space in the name because it will create some problems for you. So always put this, all you, whatever you need to, even if it's a long sentence, without any space. So let's say my first program this is what I'm typing so this is my first program you specify where you want this to be stored okay I am going to browse and save it somewhere where I want it to be so uh, so again when you browse you select whatever you want it to be I want it to be here in my case in your case you use a create a folder in drive D with your username and uh, sorry not username your ID and name so you can go back to this folder every time to save all your applications or your programs that you're going to be doing in that same folder. So you can go back to it. Don't, uh, don't forget that this computer is not, you're not the only one using it. So by using your ID and name, uh, people will know that this is not their folder and they will leave your folder alone. However, before, any, any before the exams, I mean the quiz time, a week before, and the midterms as well, a week before, make sure that you, if you would like to keep your files, save them somewhere online in the cloud if you want, or bring a flash, because before the quizzes, before the midterms, we delete everything in Drive D and everything in, in Drive C, whatever. So make sure you back up your files uh, before the quizzes. So once you specify the project name without spaces again, don't put any space in the name of your project. You click finish. Once you click finish, you're going to see there's a lot of things that is going to be created for me. And yeah, click finish when you, you typed the that. So you're going to see many things are created for me. I'm not going to be looking at all of these. The only thing that I'm going to be de doing is in this here, you see to do, it says code application logic here. This is where you type the code that you need to be typing. And now in here, this is what you need, where you need to be typing this. Okay, so this system out print line, I'm going to be typing this system, system out print line. Okay, and uh, if you have a look, this is how it should look like, and then hello world. Is this, it is a dot or so exclamation mark. I'm going to use the same. And once I've done that, I n remember, I don't touch anything from here and anything below this. I don't touch these braces. And above these, I, I keep it just as is. Inshallah, later on, we're going to learn how to change all, all of those, if you want. But for now, just focus on one thing. Your code, you just put it here. You don't touch anything after. You don't touch anything before. And this is where you put your code. As you have noticed, I can put many spaces, no problems. You can put uh, many new lines, and it's not a big problem. Once you're do you've done this, and then watch this, and then you can continue whatever you're doing. If you'd like to try your program, if it's working or not, this is how you do this. You see this triangle, like the, like the play, the green one, the green play? So you, you click on it. And if you click on it, it is going to, you can to see here, it says, Run, running. running, and then it runs. And this is where you're going to see, this is the output window or pane, where you're going to see this result here. So it appears normally, probably, for you, it's already stuck in here. You're going to always see it. Or uh, if you want it to disappear, sometimes you just click on it here, 
to see it in down. So how, after you type this, you click on this button, it runs, it displays. Or in you can type something else. For example, and I type salamu alaikum. For example, you can change and don't make sure that this well, what is changed. You don't touch those things over here because they have a meaning. We're going to be talking about it, inshallah, next week. And you run, you're going to see this is different. Can it accept Arabic? Yes, I think. Salamu alaikum in Arabic, Yerhamukallah, and here you go. Print LN, very good. Your question, this is this is L. This is not one, and this is one of the very common mistakes that many students do. This is not one N, print LN. It means print line. Let me show you something when you make a mistake, what kind of things that might happen. Let's say I forget to put this semicolon this at the end. I remove it, okay, I forgot it. See what happens? Actually, it means it compiles. As I make any change, the compiling is done automatically. I don't have to compile. I'm just running. When I click run, it's already compiled. It just run it right away. That means has the advantage of allowing me, if, when if I type something wrong, it shows me right away that there's something wrong. It shows you the line and where you can see it. For example, if I have a lot of many lines, you can see that you click on here, it, sh it takes you to the line where you have the mistake. And then it tries to help you by telling you what kind of mistake? You can see, it tells you this is semicolon expected. If you try to run it, it tells you there's one or more projects were compiled with errors, application you're in main and unexpectedly, well, let's say run anyway, I just would like to see what would happen. Oh, what happens? It ran the previous version that was working. So don't get fooled. Don't think that because it runs, it's working. No, it is still not working because you still have some problem. Maybe you, it was working before, you made some changes, now it's not working anymore. And if you give me this code, for example, to evaluate, I'm going to say, oh, you have a mistake. But you, you're going to tell me, well, I executed it, it was working fine. Well, maybe you executed an old version that was working. So that's why it's very important just to have a look at these and make sure to understand what they are. So I expect it. And just to confirm that this is something from an old version, if I take it back to hello world oh maybe if now I keep the error and then I'm trying to run you're going to see that oh I'm surprised <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's this is um, this is amazing I didn't know that I'm learning something today and if you run something wrong it's going to happen wow what happens if I copy and paste it again? Is it going to show them both? It does. Oh, mashallah. <laughs> I'm amazed. It, it solves the problem. Well, it solves the problem because maybe it's easy to solve. But what about something like this now? Ah, now I make it crash. So now it tells me there is a problem. It shows you the line. See line, this 23 means, this is the file, my file. My first program, .java, this is my file. And the column 23 means this is the line where this created the problem. If I click on it, this is the line that had the, the first problem. So I'm surprised that it allows you to run something and it tries to understand it. But usually you try to solve your problems and not rely on the compiler to solve them for you. And congratulations, you have your first program. It doesn't do anything very, you know, revolutionary, but this is your first program. <laughs>